Hello and welcome to On The Mic, a Zoom cast that spotlights students, services, and staff of Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Highlands offers adults 22 years of age and older the opportunity to earn their high school diploma, learn English as a second language, and learn a skill. My name is Mike Bressler. Today we're joined by Joanna Fassler. Joanna, how are you? Excellent. Thank you. Of course. And it's so nice to catch up with you. Um, I've seen a lot of you when you were a student at SICA, and now you're an employee of Highlands. And so, Joanna, let all of our our viewers know, how did you find out about SICA and why did you want to come back to school? Um, it was 2018 when I came into Franklin Boulevard. Also, I still, and I'm very proud to show that I came into Franklin Boulevard to do my high school diploma, but it was in Spanish. I live in Roseville and I couldn't find any that in Spanish, some of them, they were like very strict. And when I hear about Highlands, I say, I should go. So I come into uh, Franklin Boulevard, I enroll, but I have a, a injury that I, I had to have a surgery. So I stopped 2019 and then coming back 2020. And it's when I found that it was everything online and it was perfect for me. Joanna, and that's that's beautiful. Uh, now, let me just ask you this. Um, after your surgery, everything good? Everything okay? Yes, everything is good. Good. And and so when did you move to this country? And when did you move to Roseville? And how did you get to California? I, I am from Mexico City. I moved to California 1997, May 13th. May 13th. I love how you know that date. I, that's a, must have been a big day for you. Yes, it was. And it's still a very good day. And all the time I remember every stuff that I did. And I'm very proud when I talk about how I come into this country. In uh, 2004, I married with American. He fixed my papers and I thank him. I want to thank him for the rest of my life. And uh, so, and then 2008, I started to learn English. I went to different schools and different places, but when I found Highlands and Zika, my life changed completely. I have a couple of follow-up questions for you, Joanna. So one, uh, you were married. Um, tell us about your, you have family, right? You have kids? I do. I had two kids and one grandson. My son is 40. My daughter is 34. And my grandson is 12. Very nice. There's nothing like a grandson, is there? It's amazing. Yeah, he's so cute. He's very, very good. He speaks English and Spanish. And I'm very proud of him because he helps students where they cannot speak English and then the teachers, yes, Angel, can you help us? And he's very proud to do that. I love that. And and so, Joanna, you said you went to school at some other places and then you found Highlands. What's the, what's the difference between Highlands and Sika and the previous schools you attended? Oh, it's a big, big difference because um, like I went to different schools and they want to, they teach us, but with that, where I didn't like it, they give it to you the paper. They present to you the class and, okay, here's the paper. And then we had to answer, talking with somebody else, blah, blah, blah. And so, oh no, I don't like this school. And I went to another one, another one, American River, uh, Sierra College. And this is called, they want me to be there. If I miss three days, they kick me out. And with my injury, I had to have accommodations. But one day, because I was doing my um, high school diploma here in SICA, and I told one of my tutors, I want to go and do the speaking class, you know, because my English 
it's not very good and I wanted to enroll. And she's like, okay. So I enrolled and when uh, it was 2020, when I enrolled and the teacher was like, let me pull my ear like that. And they're like, because you have a hard accent. <laughs> what? That's why I want to go over there. But you know, it didn't help me. It makes me strong because, and I say, you know, I don't want to move from Zika. I want to finish here. And since there, every day since I study in Zika, every day, every day, I wish to, we can do Saturdays and Sundays because also you guys have amazing tutors for Highlands Helpline. And they're the ones that help me a lot. And it's there a big, big difference. That is so nice to hear that. So you utilized the, the tutor hotline, right? And, and, yes. and got Correct. some help from those folks, which is very good. Um, yes. Joanna, tell me uh, something about graduation. I know you just recently graduated, correct? Correct. So tell me, in that audience, in that audience, was there any of your family members there? Yes, it was my daughter, my son, and my grandson, and some of the students that I assist, because I am Mr. Uriel Medina assistant, and they went to see me. And all the time I told them, if I did, you can do it too. So it was like my daughter, my son, my grandson, and some of the students. When you when you walked across that stage and you looked out in the audience, did you see your, your family? Did you see them cheering for you? Yes, yes. But, yes and yes. what did that feel like? You know, the first beautiful feeling that I never, never going to forget is when Danita, I went to take the picture and uh, and then she was like putting my um, like my cup and everything. And you guys have a big mirror, long mirror, right? And she's like, "Are you ready to see yourself?" Like that. What is she talking about, right? Mm -hmm. So when I see myself in the mirror, it's like many good and bad memories coming to my mind because when I see myself, I did it. And many people told me, you cannot do you bad things. And I say, you know what? I did it. And uh, when I walk in the ceremony, I cry because I don't know. It's a good thing to cry when you have something that you did it, that you tied, that you're never going to do it. And uh, what I say, three, three things happen in my whole life. I'm my first son, my second daughter, and walk in the ceremony and be in this job. It's amazing. So I'm very blessed. Yes, and we're very blessed to have you as not only had a, as you as, as a student, but also have you currently as an employee. Now, tell me, Joanna, where are you working at? Who? Uh, what are you doing? What's your job title? And how long have you been with uh, Highlands? Uh, my title is para-educator, and uh, I start October 21st, uh, last year. I'm going to be one year here to uh, next month, so it was amazing that when I went to talk Mr. Dog, because we did a, a video after I finished my high school diploma, and, uh, and I did some of the courses that you guys offer. And I explained to him about my situation and he's like, come and work with us. So yeah, I applied. And uh, one day I went to knock his door. He was in a meeting. So, but when he called me and I showed him what I going to, what I applied for. And uh, because I have my cheat sheet on a paper and I said, this, let me see. And he grabbed it. And he told me, you hired. It was wow. amazing. Yeah. Wow. And so you've almost been, it's coming up on a year. You're, we're, we're just uh, three weeks away from you being here a year. And tell, tell me what's been the best part of your job with Highlands. The best part of my job is to see the student's face when they're, making like the Afghanistan, they cannot write because they write right to left. And when I, I had to ask, may I hold your hand? 
and they start to write two days, three days, it's like, look, it's like, what? Oh my God. And when I help students, they say, because you help me, because you help me. And they're like, oh my God, really? I did? So it's a big, big, I don't, I don't have a word to describe the feeling that I have when the students, Mr. Medina is a big teacher that I asked him and he's made me his mold because I told him that one day I going to be like you because you're a very good teacher. And uh, it's amazing the feeling that you have when you change somebody's life. That is uh, so nice to hear. And, and I agree with you, Joanna. I mean, there's nothing better than b being able to not only help the students, but then to see their, their appreciation for your help. Yes. I mean, there's, there's nothing like that. Hey, Joanna, before we go, tell me about, this is the part of the show where you can give a shout out to maybe a teacher or a counselor that really helped you um, uh, with Sika and Highlands. Do um, uh, you have anybody in mind that you'd like to shout out? You know, everybody, everybody, because everybody here, they have a, is, I have my family, but my fam my black family, but this is my real family because they care about you. And I want to share everybody because everybody worry about you, everybody cares about you. And all teachers, since I start, they're amazing. The tutors, everybody is so amazing. And Mr. Doug Smith, he's an angel. So I, everybody's very, very good here in Highlands. Well, listen, listen, Joanna, I, I, I want to, I want to say, um, I think you're an angel uh, for um, really going out there and and doing what you wanted to do and, and accomplishing some of your goals. And and I think it's great that you're an employee now um, with Highlands and, and now you're able to help other students uh, get to the point where you're currently at. And, and that's to be successful and be a, a, a very valuable member of the, uh, the workforce. And um, I wanted to thank you very, very much for being on the mic today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I want to, one last thing that I want to say when I come in to assist Mr. Medina with the students, I feel that the students, they're my oxygen and made me strong. <laughs> I love that. Joanna, thank you so much. Um, have a great day. You too. Thank you, Mike. Nice to see you. All right. Great to see you too. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. 